How's it going, my dudes? My name is Javion. So welcome to this video where I'm gonna be, you know, reviewing a product. Yeah. So, a lot of you may like Coke. I'm not sure if all of you do. Some might, some might not, some might. <laughs> we never know, you know. But, you know, some of us also might like coffee. Yeah, some do, some don't. But today, I'm going to be showing you Coca-Cola coffee. Now, this isn't something that you just get in South Africa. Or, sometimes it is. But, I got this today at a local thing called a tuck shop. Do you guys know what a tuck shop is? That's right, it's an in-school store where you go and you buy things like sweets and drinks and sweets and chips and pies and drinks. You can buy a lot of stuff. Okay, but the first thing, well, like, this is the only thing that I have and I bought, I don't know, I, I saw it and I was just like, hey. This looks like a video, because those coffee beans kind of look like shit. Alright, let's go with the first thing. The wonderful little crisp opening sound. I gotta do it right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's... That's good. That's... Mmm. That's tasty. Okay, I just took a whiff, and from the beginning, it doesn't smell too good. It doesn't smell great. It's not terrible, okay? It's not awful, but it's not good. So, let's just, you know, let's not be the judge of this right away, and let's take a sip. Okay, so here's my thought. This is called Coca-Cola coffee, right? <clears throat> However, I'm picking a lot, I'm picking up a lot of caramel. I'm picking up like loads of caramel, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It's just, it's not really, you know, my taste, I suppose. It's not bad, is the thing. It's not bad, but it's also not good. Don't mistake this for being a good thing. This isn't good, but it's not bad. It's not terrible. It said it's made with coffee flavor, or coffee powder, which, you know, whenever you hear that something's powder, that's always great news. Um, I fear for the health and safety regulations of this. Like right now, hold on, what time is it? Yeah, it's nine a. It's nine p.m. Um, and the energy is one hundred and fifty-nine kilojoules. Now, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure you need around. Hold on, wait a minute. I gotta, I gotta do this correctly. You know, I gotta get my facts straight, right? How many kilojoules do you need in a day? Eight thousand seven hundred for eight thousand seven hundred kilojoules. Here's a summary from Better Health Channel. On average, people eat and drink around eight thousand seven hundred kilojoules a day. All right. Thanks, Google. Okay, so eight thousand seven hundred kilojoules a day. And this serves us a whopping 160. So, if I would just like, if I woke up tomorrow morning, let's say, and I was just like, man, I want to drink nothing but Coke coffees all day long. I mean, how, how many Coke coffees would I need to drink? Hold on, I'm whipping out my calculator. Shut up. 
I'm I'm not good at math. Shush. <laughs> um. 8,700 divided by 160. Yeah, so I need to drink fifth, roughly 54 cans of this so that I would have my daily energy in. Let's just... Ah, energizing. So, sugars, there's 9.6 grams in this 200 milligram, or 200 milliliter can. Now, 200 milliliters is not that big, all right? That's a fifth of a liter. And a liter, I think... I'm gonna work on crazy American standards. You you Americans are insane. Um, but I think a gallon is like 2.5 liters. Bring up a correction on screen right now. But... Then you would need this times... I think it's like 12.5, 12.5 of these, you know, cans, I guess, of these canfuls would be um, a gallon, and that's... Let's say roughly 13 cans. So you'd need a whopping like 10 gallons of this stuff a day to get your average energy in, which is ridiculous. But also, it seems like it's not the worst for you. Like there are worse Coke products out there. It still doesn't taste good. Okay, I have a gloss here that I just always keep up there because I drink all the time in here. But let's just pour this out. Oh, super artsy. Oh, no. No, it needs to be a super artsy shot. We need to do it right in front of the camera. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's satisfying, isn't it? That's satisfying. Shut up about my nails. Shut up. Shh. It's not that bad. Shush. Ooh. Okay, looking at this in a glass, you cannot really see that big of a difference between this and like Coke Zero or something, or like normal Coke, or Coke Light, I think, because Coke Light does a lot of bubblies. Um, I can immediately smell the difference, or I can't actually, I mean like there's a slight trace of co coffee in the in the sniff, but like, otherwise, it's not. <laughs> interesting, interesting. So, by throwing it into a glass, it seems like it's gotten a lot more tolerable. A lot more like, hmm, this doesn't taste like ass. I mean, Is this, if this were an average thing that I would drink, I wouldn't say it's the worst of Coke brands, or it's the worst of Coke products. I'd say that there are, are definitely worse, definitely worse out there. But for what it is, it's pretty decent. Like I spent a good amount on the can. I spent a total of 15 rand on the can. Um, I'm bringing up conversion rates, aren't I? Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm bringing up conversion rates on screen right now, aren't I? Good. That's good. Keep it that way. Okay. <laughs> Get so mean to myself during editing. What's wrong? <laughs> See, it's not bad as the thing, but would I drink it on a daily basis? I suppose if we had a daily supply, but like, who the hell has like 57 cans a day for me to just drink it all day long? 
and like hold on this is like 200 milliliters so you could chug it relatively quickly like and then you'd be done but like let's do the math like let's say it takes you 10 seconds to chug this then it will be 10 times 57 which would be 570 seconds which I think would be somewhere near Math boy. Math boy is doing his work. I think that that's somewhere near. That's 11 minutes. It's 11 minutes out of your day to get all of your daily energy from it, which is actually not that bad in time consumption. I'd say that it's not that bad. <sighs> it's still something that you heavily need in moderation, as with all drinks from Coca Cola. <sighs> Okay, as I've been saying this whole video, it's not bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. I would drink again. However, 6 out of 10. Not the best tasting. Don't really enjoy it. Doesn't really taste... My tongue doesn't really feel too, you know, nice about it. It's not like... <laughs> Just in case you didn't pick that up, that that's a positive reaction. Don't, don't be concerned for me. I that, that was a positive reaction. But, like, we look at the color and everything, and it looks, it looks pretty much a lot like Coke, I'd say. Like, hold on, I'm ready to, f like, do the thumbnail. There you go. <laughs> Took a snapshot of that. Wow. That probably was great. See, the problem is... I like where Coke was going with this. I like coffee. I like the taste of coffee. It's just that they went for the very light route on taste. It's not like, oh yeah, this is coffee in my mouth. It's like, oh yeah, this is Coke. And someone spat a bit of like their coffee into it, stirred it up and then was just like, oh, here you go, here's some coffee coke what I feel like coke needs to do is they need to take their own beans right they gotta pump them into cans right with like a bunch of carbon carbonated water or whatever to get the bubblies going um, and when they got the bubblies going then you know you got some soda but like that'd be like soda coffee or something like that that'd be great I think if Coke made soda coffee, because Coke is good at making soda. 100% agree with that one. But are they good at making coffee? This coffee's pretty okay. I 10 out of 10 coffee, 6 out of 10 drink when it's combined with Coke. Either make your own coffee or don't do it at all, Coke. Don't do that. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy that goes like, you know, an eighth of the way. Be the guy that goes... 100% the way be the bigger Be the big guy be the smart guy math science <laughs> but, in any, but in any case That's gonna do it for me. So thank you all so much for watching this video If you did enjoy make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to become a visionary today But before you go take that like back Leave it just like it said, share this video with your friends, but I don't show them how hard the video is and how awful my content is in general. Thanks so much for watching in any case, and I'll see you all in the next video. Don't forget to watch my stream tomorrow. Bye-bye!